What's up guys, it's the Tupo Gamer here, and welcome to Choices That Matter. It's a uh, game that is, that you make choices. Hold on, I think the game is uh, screwing up with me. Um, God damn it. Alright guys, well, let's see what this game has in store for me. Um, I don't know. Wait for the fancy five. Uh, oh, 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 Okay. Um, I guess. And the sun went out. And their souls were eaten. Or, and their heroes were lost. Oh, um, let's go with this one. Heroes were lost. Story. This is three different stories. Oh, this is nice. Oh, I already like. I I already like this game. I already like this game. Already. Ten man games. Oh, am I supposed to? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, sorry, sorry. Um. There is no death in your future, but that does not mean that your decisions are without risk. That's... That's good to know. Oh yeah, I have to tap. And their heroes were lost. There was a bright light in fear, then blackness. Wake up, soldier! I moved instinctively and was brought up short by something that rattled and restrained my right arm with a grip of iron. Eyes fully open now, I realized that it was on the dirt floor and not a bunk. There were manacles, manacles, manacles attached to my wrists. The chains connecting them ran through a large ring attached to the wall above my head. And what was this thing around my throat? I felt a fine metal mesh with my fingers and some sort of a box on the back of my neck. What? A coolness to my scalp had my fingers explored, exploring there as well. Someone to shave my head. What the hell? Yeah, my 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 words exactly. I levered I levered levered. I levered myself up so I was leaning against the wall and looked around for answers. The room was dim and smelled of damp earth and urine. There were others also there were there were others present, also chained, mostly lying prone. Were they asleep, unconscious, dead? At least they seemed to be seemed to be someone else awake. They were sitting upright in the opposite left corner, watching me. There were four of us in the cell. We were all wearing the same thing, a sleeveless concrete gray tracksuit and no shoes. Is he being court-martialed? The cell itself was a cinder block construction, with daylight coming in dimly through the chicken wire triangles at the end of the roof space. There was something that might be concrete water, but, but, what? But in the middle of the wall opposite of me. The air felt hot and oppressive, like it does just before the storm in the tropics. Obviously, something bad had happened. But what? And why? Talk to the person who's weak. Try to break out. Talk to the person who's weak. You need context. Why did you call me a soldier? I asked. I did not. It was a woman's voice. She was also bald. There was a sound of confusion in her voice, and her accent was Canadian. I don't. I can't do a Canadian accent. It was something extra. Th something extra thrown in. Okay. But you are. Yes. She added. Was I a soldier? I tried the idea on for size. Oh, cause yeah, cause you can do that. And came up blank. For the life of me, I didn't know 
I didn't know. I groped for an alternative. And once more came up with nothing more than a growing headache. Ouch. What? You don't say that out loud. You too? said the woman. Me too what? I asked. I replied. Can you remember anything? she asked. And then added, what is your name? My name? It should be the easiest of things to remember. This guy doesn't remember. Ugh! I gritted. I replied, gritting my teeth as the pain in my head doubled. What's happened to me? Why can't I remember who I am? And why does my head hurt so much? I do not know, replied the woman. The sound of quiet desperation in her voice. But I am the same. There was a groan from the other side of the room. And the man's voice also accented, said, I'm gonna, uh, can't you two let a bloke have his hangover in peace? Work out, work out the man's accent. Okay, I'm guessing he's, check whether the man is a threat. I'm gonna ch check if he's a threat first. The guy was chained to the wall on the opposite side of the door from me. In the low light, he, I could make just make out that he, I can't read. That he was also bald and wearing the same short sleeve gray uniform, chains and neck, band as the woman and I were. As he pushed himself up, I saw tattoos on his muscly, mus, muscly arms. There was also the top of a tattoo visible on his open collar. Probably thinks he's a tough guy, but he doesn't look so tough. That's what they all say. Anyone remember what we were drinking? He asked the room in general, because I don't. He groaned and carefully rotated one of his shoulders, then gingerly touched the side of his head. That must have been some party, he said. My head hurts and I feel like I've been in a fight. And can someone please explain how I got sunburnt on one side of my head? How do you get sunburnt on one side of your head? It didn't sound like a fight was unusual for him. But apart from my head, I felt fine. So the fight wasn't with me. Or could, have, could I have taken him that easily? What is your name? The woman asked suddenly. My name? It's... He went silent for... A time and then groaned and said bloody hell woman don't do that what it, it's not her at least i don't think so investigate the woman as a possible threat work out more of the woman's origin from her accent okay why 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 okay look at that. if she's a threat you should know i looked across at the woman and was now leaning forward to look at the new guy. This brought her face into the light. She looked deeply tanned and had one and had dark eyes and could have been any age between twenty and forty. Shit. There was concern for her eyes for the man. She was either a superb actor or not a threat. I could see that there was a number stenciled onto her top. 47. I looked down and saw I had my own number 46. Number 47, I said, looking at the woman. If you can't remember what your name, can you remember where you're from? No, why would... She shook her head. I've been awake for a while, and all I've been able to think about is getting spilly headaches. I think I'm Native American. Huh? An Indian, like said the man, who stands over at 50. Looks like they'll take all sorts in this place. What do you mean by that? Said the woman, defiance in her voice. Nothing, replied 50 with a shrug. But the big guy here is a black man. And I know I'm an Aussie. Oh, oh you're Austria? Okay. If this is some sort of international convention for amnesiacs, then the catering sucks. Big time. Look, look, look for this big guy. Ignore the funny man. 
I focus on trying to get free. Um, sure. Do that. Everything was black. Wake up, idiot. I moved instinctively. Something rattled in the What? I strained my right arm with a grip of iron. My eyes fully opened and I realized I was on the floor. There was men in... Wait, what? 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 I already read this. Yes, my words. Exactly. Ignore the voice in my head. Oh, this, is the, the, this person. The person. Okay. Who's there? I cried. No one answered, but I heard something on the other side of the wall behind me. Caution got the better of me. And I said more quietly, I can hear you. Talk to me. Yeah. Not so loud, I came to reply. It was the deep voice of a man. But I had listened. I had to listen hard to make out the words. The guards think I'm having a toilet break. Guards. So I was in prison. But why? Who are you, and why are you here? I asked, feeling a grow a growing feeling of unease developing. I'm number forty-eight. I can't answer the second question. What? Why? I said, noticing that. This a short sleeve gray uniform out. <clears throat> Excuse me. I was wearing was labeled with the number 46. Whoa, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. None of the prisoners I None of the prisoners know. I thought you might have learned something when they took you away. What the fuck? I was confused and so groggy. None of this was making sense. What did you see? He asked. I have no idea what you're talking about, I said in exasperation. There was a silence for a moment, and then I said, said the man, do you remember who I am? Um... I don't know. I guess try to remember him? His voice was unfamiliar. All I could remember was the number he just told me. Who was I? Number 46. But what was my name? That should be the easiest of things to remember. Yes. Uh, yeah. Wait. What? Y yes. No name had been forthcoming from my painful efforts. What the hell? What's happened to me? Why can't I remember who I am? And why does my head hurt so much? I don't know, replied the man. The sound of quiet desperation in his voice. But we're all the same. We thought we might have been mentally conditioned somehow. I said, what? 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 I confused. Don't you remember, he said? It sounded like he already knew I would answer. No, I replied. I didn't remember him. I didn't remember much of anything. There were vague memories of people wearing similar prison uniforms. Where were they now? The rest were gone. Were you in here with me? When did I tell you about the condition? When? That's not gonna help me at all. Were you in here with me? How would that help me? Yes, they were fuck. Really? Really, truck? Really? Re yes, okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. Do you remember that? No. Five? No. I replied. There would only be four people in that cell. I smelled a rat. Or more properly, a stool pigeon. Prisoners use them to keep tabs on their inmates. What? Who are you really? I asked, curious. If they'd wiped my memories, why would they use a stool pigeon? Well, maybe they were testing to see how successful their memory wipe had been. Damn it. I probably just 
just just told them that I could remember something. Pretend your question was a joke. Tell the stool pigeon to go back to his master. Um, that's probably a bad idea. Uh, pretend my question was a joke. Before I could say anything, the man outside said, uh, Excuse me. The guards are coming. What should I do? How would I know? Reply I replied, confused. I saw what you did. I think I could do it too. Should I? I have no idea what you're talking about. I replied. There's a brief us. You don't remember? Remember what? Was this another test? You broke the band. Then in a different and much louder voice, he said, Okay, okay, I'm going. I'm going. And then he was gone. Confused about the entire scenario had been about, I decided to concentrate on something more useful. Getting out of here. I'm trying to work out where you are. Investigate your restraints. Investigate my restraints. Because that's what I would do first. The band felt like a fine metal mesh, sitting tight against his skin, but not tight enough to impede breathing. Oh. Okay. Uh, there, and there was that box on the, the back. What was that for? Could it be one of those electric, electronic devices they use to keep tabs on low-level criminals in home detention? I mean, I don't know, I forgot the word is. According to number 48, I'd been able to break this band. It seemed unlikely. But I certainly didn't like the idea of being monitored. So I eased my fingers under the mesh. That was a mistake. The band suddenly tightened. Within, my, within seconds, my fingers were being pushed into my throat. Um, struggling against that? Probably not a good idea. Seeming that when you put your fingers in, it'll then... Okay, just relax, 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 calm down. If they wanted to kill me, they'd or I'd already be dead. They'd obviously had other plans for me, so there didn't be no... Well, technically, if people want to do something with you, it'd be a smart idea to not play their game and just... Okay. Trusting to my logic, I waited for the tension in the band to decrease. The metal thrush closed even more tightly on my throat, and now I couldn't breathe. I was being strangled by my own fingers. I was being asphyxiated. Be what? What? Okay, wait. Blech. But being asphyxiated was the least of my worries. The carotid arteries that supply the brain with oxygen lie close in the surface. Surface in the throat. With the bond in my fingers position where they are, I could I would pass out in seconds and die soon afterwards. Okay. As the band continued to tighten up, I pushed my fingers further under the mesh until I was able to force them out from the other side of the band. I don't know how that's possible. Then I squeezed my hands into a fist and tried to pull them apart with all my might. For a moment nothing happened except the box on the back of my neck began to make a faint whine. Then I caught a brief whiff of burning metal and suddenly heard a pop and all that tension suddenly went out of the band. I pulled it off my head without too much problem and dropped it to the floor. I laughed and marveled at my own strength. I wondered if I could do the same with the trains. Pushing myself to my feet, I took the slack in the chain. And I started pulling with all my might. No, you're not gonna pull. It. You're not. The dirt floor wasn't giving my feet enough grip, so I put one wall. On. He's gonna rip his arm off, probably. So I put one foot and then the other on top of the wall, and pulled the chain with all my strength in my legs, my arms, and back. Oh, oh, oh! That scared me a little bit. The, the chain broke with a sudden crack, and I was pitched headlong into the floor and up against the door. Oh, he's so dead. It didn't matter. I wasn't hurt, and I was free. Um, this was supposed to have been a lesson. 
they thought they were in control. They were wrong. What? Okay. Think about the consequences of what you've just done. Don't think, act. Okay. If I know one thing about life, is that you are supposed to think about the consequences of what you've just done, or are about to do, before you do it. Okay. But if I think... Okay, so if I'm gonna waste time thinking about what... No, just act. Act. That's my instinct. Just act. I moved to the closet and the cell and made a jump for the top of the cinder block wall. Ten feet. No sweat. Uh, I pulled myself up so I could peer out the top of the wall at the world outside. There was a corrugated iron water tank up against the side of a wooden building on the stumps immediately to my left and what looked like a field of vegetables and a guard tower to my right. Okay, Ahead of me, about 10 yards away, were the camp's two outer wire fences separated each other by about 10 feet. Beyond there was an open area that looked like some sort of an overgrown playing field. Making sure I'm still recording. And beyond that was a jungle, a lush tropical jungle. But, uh, there was also the sun, low in the sky. I estimated there was about an hour of daylight left. Oh, you fucked. Work out a plan, act decisively. Work out a plan first. You need choice. Oh, really? Really? I see how this is. We're just story past heroes who are lost. Give me one second, people. Up plan. I could see that there were guards in the watchtower, but they weren't looking my way at the moment. If stop double tapping, if I was going to have any chance of escape, I first needed to get out of this holding cell. The chicken wire mesh should be no trouble for my enhanced strength, considering what I what I've been able to do. You're taking this advanced strength. Advanced strength for granted. I know that you are. Ideally, I should wait after dark. After dark. But I doubt. I doubted that that would have long. I. I. Oh my god. I would have that long before the guards came. Some of the English is a little messed up. The elements of speed and surprise were my best chance. But first, I need to get something. What did you. What do you need to get? I dropped back down on the floor and picked up the broken band. There was no sense in leaving an obvious scent marker for the dogs to follow. I would drop the band in the first water I came across. That makes that makes sense. Wait a minute. Mm, that should take care of my active electronics as well. But then it probably tracks you. I shoved it into the pocket of my tracksuit. Tra You're going to get caught. It's only because it makes sense. It's an electronic thing, so it would be like a tracker as well to track if... Okay, he's dumb. He's not gonna succeed. Using a combination of my weight and enhanced strength in, of my arms, okay, I managed to pull the chicken wire mesh from where it was attached to the underneath of the roof. With fingers smarting from where the wire had dug into my flesh, that hurts. I managed to climb up onto the wire wall and peel down enough of the wire mesh so I could carefully climb through the gap I had made. I dropped through the muddy ground onto the outside of the hut. Hey, over here was an imperative whisper. I turned and saw a thick set man. What? Okay, a thick set man with a short crop, dark hair, and the beginnings of a moustache peeking out moustache peeking out from behind the water tank on my left. 
who is monitoring to me for me to come over. Hurry, I'll still see you. Go to the man, ignore him, and head to the fence. Um, I'm gonna take his advice. Screw you. Uh, I ran toward the man. I got down on my hands and knees and followed him under the building, so I was out in the immediate sight of the watchtower. The man's prison uniform had the number 45 on the breast. One less than my own number. I also noticed he didn't have a band on his throat. Where are we? He I, I asked. He shook his head, turned away, and began crawling further in under the building. I followed, getting dirt on my palms and the pit. Man! Stop worrying about dirt! When we were far enough from the side of the building that we couldn't be seen from any casual observers, he stopped and, s and still on my hands and knees, turned to face me. What? I'm number 45, he said, offering his hand. I'll help you escape if you promise to take me with you. Okay. Uh, yes. Why do I need you? Deal. I could. Yeah, deal. Why would I? Why would I go out on my own and make an enemy? I don't know who this guy is, but I'll tell you this much: leaving him to die is not a good idea. I brushed the dirt off my palms and shook the man's hand, being careful to not, not to apply too much pressure. You need a firm handshake, man. Why me? Surely there are other capable people you could have escaped with. Don't question, fuck. Oh my god, wow, okay. Um, no way. Most of the people are either too old or too out of condition. I've seen what you can do. You're my best hope. What did I do? Not sure what you did to get in trouble, but I saw you throwing the guards around like they were rag dolls when they came to get you. I don't think guards are on, I remember nothing of that. And I'm sure that what they did to stop you, but you were probably wearing something on your neck, and it probably injected you with some kind of knockout drug. So what can you tell me about this place? This place? Nothing. But I've heard we're somewhere in Nicaragua. Oh, you fuck. Oh, you're so screwed. I've heard some of the laborers in the field singing about what sounds like the Creole they speak on, on the east coast there. You said hundreds of miles. What? You said hundreds of miles. If we're on the east coast, the sea and ports and ships could be close by. Okay, so maybe I exaggerated a bit, he said. But my point would be still, would have still been, val been, been valid if you would head it off in the wrong direction. I conceded him the point. My knowledge of the country was just enough to know that it was Central America. I don't know where Nicaragua is. That may or may not be in South America. Pretty sure it's not in Central America. Just, I, but I don't know. Ask. So do you have a plan? I'm in. When do we leave? Uh, yes. What's the plan? Fuck. Actually, I'm kind of overstaying my welcome with this video. So, I will end this video here. Um, this is a nice game. Um, it's a little annoying with the... The ticket things. Uh, just because of the fact that it's annoying. But, definitely, I definitely like this a lot. I'm going to save. Save. In sync with cloud, 14 choices were made. And that's the last. Like, no, don't do that. Uh, no, also don't do that. Um, I said the title screen. Okay, guys. Well, that's the um, that's that. I may do another one of these. Um, I may finish and their heroes were lost. I may finish that one. Um, if I want to, I think I will. And then I'll leave the rest. The, uh, the two other stories for another time. I might do those, but I doubt it. Because I want you guys to experience the game as well. I just don't, I don't want to just, you know, 
like hand out this guy's work and not have other people want to, you know, play the game because they've seen all the choices. Although I only make specific choices, you guys can also go into the game. Sorry, I just hit the thing. You guys can also go into the game and look at the other choices and see where that gets you. Um, because obviously if there's multiple choices then there's multiple endings which means that um you're you almost always are gonna get a different ending which is nice but anyway guys I think I will end this video here um I might finish this game uh, this story the and their heroes were lost I might finish this so just yeah yeah so yeah just be wary for more videos like this um I won't do it uh, both one at a time but yes I can't hit this because I didn't choose that okay well that's right, because I'm gonna end the video here. Alright, guys. Well, um, yeah. Uh, link for the game is in the description. Um, it'll take you to the, um, the Play Store so that you will be able to download it. I don't know if this is on iOS because I am playing this on my tablet. I wouldn't doubt it if it's, um,. On Android, I mean uh, iOS. So, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next year. Bye.